Hiya. Today's video is about my Tesla Model 3 performance. Um, I've done a lot of upgrades and uh, through Martian wheels and hand show products. Massive, uh, account, well, good economy, better than it was with 20 inch alloys. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Over the last two weeks, I've installed a couple of Henshaw products. One being the full carbon fibre yoke steering wheel, which is absolutely fantastic to drive and feels unique to in the making of, well, it may, in driving in round in a round with a round steering wheel. So, this is a fantastic product at a fantastic price as well. I'll get into that. And that is a second generation uh, as up display from hand show. It also has a sat nav, I will show you that in a minute. So that everything's right in front of you instead of looking over over to that uh, corner. Yes. I've driven it and it is fantastic to me. Feels better than the round steering wheel. Mainly because it's just different but that makes all the difference here is a closer view of the heads up display if you touch the straw wheel it changes to the sat nav there and it's in satellite mode so it's fantastic you can also have it in other modes like the plane mode but it's fantastic in sat nav uh, satellite mode you can also have the satellite navigation in full screen if you if you so choose to do so and then scroll the wheel back or forward up or down goes back to the clocks and it tells you all your speeds and everything your range your economy and everything yes fantastic and that's a steering wheel, full carbon fiber but all the way through. You don't really see these. A lot of them on YouTube, you see them with the Alicantra or Lever. I think it looks far superior, in my opinion, to have it full carbon fiber. And while we're at it, I show the economy of the car. This is a 2020 non-heat pump Tesla Model 3 performance. It's done 8,000 miles. It's 12,946 kilometres. If I just put my foot down, oh, wait a minute. As you can see, if I zoom in, my car has done 8,145 miles. I say, told you everything. Yeah. Let's go on to the economy, and I'll show you why it's got super economy. If we can get to it. There. I did a far mile, cold trip, no pre-eating, nothing. So it had to heat the batch up as well, as it's a fresh journey. I did far miles, and it created an efficiency of 203 watt hours per mile. That is absolutely fantastic. Underneath, I did a 12 mile trip, used three kilowatts, and it averaged 226 watt hours a mile. Yeah, the end, very good. As a matter of fact, over a 6,090 mile drive, and this is including with the 20 inch wheels, because I changed them over about a year ago, and the car is now about 17 months old or so. It's September 2020 when I purchased the car. So in counting with the 20 inch wheels, and over the, the year I've done, I've had the 
uh, wheels, which I'll tell you about more in a minute when I get out of the car. In 6,019 miles, it's averaged 246 watt hours a mile. And that's counting with the 20 inch wheels. I've not got 20 inch wheels no more. Like I said, I'll explain what wheels I've got in a minute. Same there. And I'll just get out of the car and show you the wheels. These are the wheels on my car. Yes, fantastic wheels. The Martian wheels, MV03s. But they're not just, not 20 inch anymore, they're 18 inch, 18 inch. And the width of the actual wheel itself isn't 8.5, a normal standard size. It's a narrower 7.5J, which means I've managed to get a tyre size of 215, 45, 18s. Yes, tyre price for these is £53 each tyre. So it's like running a Nissan Leaf on it, you're driving a Tesla Model 3 performance. But you, know, you might think, well, isn't that low quality? No. You go by the low rating, the speed rating, it's actually a better performance tyre than the standard 20 inch, which I'm £290 from Tesla. The actual uh, performance of the tyre is Y rated for speed, that's 186 mile an hour, and they got a load rating of 93. The standard 20 inch at £290 is a load rate of 92. So these have got better performance and hold more weight than the standard 20 inch wheel at £53 each. The sim's gone up actually to £65 each, but you know, you're drawn around and test and model free performance at that price, it's fantastic. But this is why it's super economy, because because it's a 215 whip tyre, it means that it's going to be low, low drag. Like, so better efficiency, which is why I can get 215 watt hours a mile. Hi. Also from Handshow, I've had some upgrades as well, other upgrades, and which is I'll show you now. Okay. It makes a big difference. Uh, Don't know. And it closes too. The wheels themselves are not just Martian wheels, yeah, but the forged lightweight wheels, so they're much lighter than the standard wheels, the 20 inch standard wheels. That's why I get a fantastic economy. Brilliant. And with solar, it's really it's free motoring. Thank you for watching. 
thank you for watching my video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And mm. now you can see the hand show products as well. And the Martian wheels. And you too could do the same. Mm. Or similar. Make your car stand out from the crowd. But like I say, I've got brilliant economy now. But why am I mind about economy? Some, I don't know. I think a lot of people shouldn't mind about economy. That the people that can't have solar and stuff, or they got they can't park off road. Then people, there's bound to be a lot of them that are going to struggle getting any EV, right? Any EV. But for people that have got off road parking, and they can charge a car up, but not just have, have solar, right? It's just really free motoring. I mean, petrol and diesel is eight pound a gallon. When we sold it on sunny days, or even now, I'm getting it's cloudy. I'm getting a kilowatt. So you know, it's really free motoring. So people that got heat pumps, heat pumps, um, do you really need an heat pump? I think it's more to go wrong anyway. Because I mean, you know about heat pumps in houses, they can be expensive to go wrong. Well. I think uh, my car, like, you haven't got a heat pump, and it, have, it hasn't. So, you know, it's just got the normal heat, normal heater, which means that, you know, it's reliable technology. At the t you know, even now it's reliable. With heat pumps, is it reliable? And how much are they going to cost to replace? You know, so that expense as well. So, all in all... You don't need an heat pump, not really with the, the efficiency. If you get 18-inch wheels on the uh, long range or performance, you're going to have brilliant economy anyway. That's what it's all about, the size of the wheels and the width of the tyre. Like I say, I've got two on fires on mine now. They're the, they're the narrowest you can get uh, on, on the car for the speed rate and load rating. And now it's, it, just go, it just goes far, far it's far better than it was before on economy going to these 18 inch narrow wheels of 215 tyres so yeah you know what to do upgrade your cars by doing it yourself you don't need to get a heat pump version worrying about the uh, cost of the heat pump just keep your old cars and then just upgrade them you got electric bonnet electric boot you know, you got your yoke steering wheels you can do, you can got your on your display at the front. Just do that. Then when the new Tassa does come out another year from now, it might have a on board display. You know, heads up, heads up display. Well you, I've got it already. <laughs> so and then the not like the boot and the front. It's all electric. I've got it already. Yes. So, while wait, do your own. Hand show products, Martian wheels. You know where to go, look it up on the internet. And then that's it. All tests are the same. All the same shape. Do the same thing. Electric, that's it. Don't upgrade and pay more money out to upgrade. Do your own. Yes. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.